Hey everybody, welcome to the Styrene Space Shop. <laughs> it's Craig. Uh, second video tonight. I'll show you a little bit of progress I got on the on the Saturn V uh, kits that I, I'm doing from AMT. Uh, here we got starting over here in the far left. This little one that is the Mercury Redstone. And then we have, let's see, we have the, well, we got the Mercury Atlas, that's that one. And then, what's the next one? I believe that is the Saturn, right there. This is the Saturn 1B? No. Oh, I take that back. That is, hang on, I'll tell you. That is the Gemini Titan 2, I'm sorry. This tall one here that's complete. That one is the Saturn 1B. And then there's the Saturn 5. Uh, first couple of nights I had these first two, first two ones all assembled. I'm starting to paint them. Got the command modules painted there. And the launch escape system rockets, I need to paint those, but I don't know, they're, they're pretty cheesy, it's, there's not a lot of detail to it. But, this whole kit in general is, it's decent, but a little disappointed, there's not a lot of detail on the, on the rockets themselves. You can see this corrugated piece here that's about as much detail as you're going to get on it. Um, even this big even this big piece here there's just not a lot of detail. Seam lines were terrible I gotta fix those up. Even the engines themselves just just not a lot of detail. Um, now there's a couple of couple of guys looking at this video and they were thinking of buying the kit and you're really gonna have to love rockets to to get into it um, and one one word of advice if you do buy this kit and you start to build it cut all the mounting tabs or the mounting pins just cut those off to begin with file them down because they won't mount they won't line up in the holes Mm, all kinds of fit issues. It's typical AMT. All kinds of flash. I've got one sprue left. Um, it's for the Saturn V. Oh yeah, those three little things there, those are the astronauts. They are supposed to go into the command module, which is this here. The bottom is not supposed to be glued on, so those three little astronauts sit in the bottom here, and then you can take this off, and take that off there and display the astronauts. Now yeah, I didn't bother to do that, because that's just one more part to lose when these things fall over, because the mounting bases they give you, these are it here for the three that are laying on their sides, and they're, they're terrible. I'm going to have to come up with some other sort of mounting but these things dominoed, dominoed me twice. I went down to set at the bench and just tapped the edge of the bench. And it starts with the redstone and it just, we just dominoed all the way over to the Saturn V. Had a huge mess here at Cape Canaveral. Um, but anyway, that's, that's where I'm getting, started painting the, the LEM or the Lunar Exploration Module here. Got a coat of gold on that. The other part to it, there's a lot of, a lot of sanding and filling to do. It's kind of hard to see in here, but there's a big hole in the center, which I have no idea why. Uh, this edge, there's the seam, so that's going to have to be filed down. There's some sink marks that need to be filled. It's your typical AMT kit. It's I've had fun building it, um, but like I said, you really got to be into mock rockets to do this kit, so just a little bit of a heads up for any of you who are thinking about buying it. 
I wouldn't definitely pay full kit for this prize. I think it's like 30, what, 35 bucks at Hobby Lobby's where I got it, but I used my 40% off, so. Uh, and actually, I had some birthday money that I put towards it too, so. But there it is. Uh, next step, I gotta, like I said, just gotta finish up the the launch escape system rocket for the Saturn V and put that, assemble that and assemble the LEM module legs. Gotta get those on there yet. And then just start to paint. Luckily the paint schemes on these are fairly simple. White and black. A lot of decals for the black, so. But uh, that's an update on this and thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. Appreciate each and every one of you for checking out my videos and commenting. Um, kind of been a busy couple of weeks here. I haven't had a chance to get a lot of comments back to you guys, but I'll sit down and get them. Youth football season's in full swing, so. Boy in 8th grade and a boy in 5th grade, and we got hockey season coming up soon, so my bench time might be somewhat limited, but. I will definitely be checking out videos as best I can and commenting. And thank you once again. We'll talk to you later.